Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and it seems that James Wood is quite angry. His fury is reaching no, uh, is reaching uh, unmatched, and it seems that uh, he really wants to go after the DNC. Well, he has a few words to say, and I'm going to let him speak because it's quite interesting. Take a look. Some kind of legal or civil recourse that you would have against the people who violated your First Amendment rights? I can guarantee you one thing, more than anything else you'll ever hear in your life. I will be getting a lawyer. I will be suing the Democratic National Committee no matter what, whether I win or lose. I am going to stand up for the rights that every American, not a so-called celebrity, right. I'm not a celebrity, but I'm hardly recognizable anymore because my career has been destroyed by these very people. And I will sue, and I'm hoping other people will sue. And if it turns out there are a lot of us on this list where the DNC targeted us, and I will quote the immortal words of Joseph Welch when he attacked Joe McCarthy for the enemies list he had, at long last, sir, have you no shame. Yes. President Biden all of your stuffy little operatives in the DNC who have targeted American citizens, have you, Mr. President, have all of you at last no shame? They're not going to be happy about it in the long run. And, you know, wh what am I going to get out of it? I don't know, but I'm going to sue for the... Look, there was a guy who called me a cocaine addict on, on Twitter once. Never done drugs in my life. And they even stipulated, well, he was just doing it with hyperbole. I sued him. I won that suit. I won the slap judgment on that suit. So you can't talk about it because of the settlement that, that we did, much more than that. And someone said, why would you do it? I said, because I'm going to defend my name. I'm not going to let them slur, uh, slander me like this. That was libel in, in that case. But uh, there's a distinction, as you know. Uh, but I'm not going to put up with it. And if I have to be the flag bearer for this, then so be it. I'll be proud to do it. Um, we, I, I you should be say, proud. I want to say in closing, you may notice that I never talk to the press anymore. I'm asked yes. every day. Okay, I've left Twitter as my only source of, 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 of you know, of the public any statement I might might make because I always say those are my words. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to alter it by doing a slow motion video of me in black and white and all that crap that they do. But but they. They've been doing this as a jihad against conservative people. I was blocked on Twitter for eight months. You know what I was suspended for? Quoting Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's how crazy these people are. And one of the things that I said on Twitter once that has become kind of a meme, scratch a liberal and you'll find a fascist every time. Yes. Let me tell you, these Democrats, and now I can say it because they are no my enemy. They, they declared this, not me. But when they go around calling everybody, oh, this one's a fascist and so on. You know who the fascists are? Scratch a liberal and you will find a fascist every time. Every time. And that's the man's speech and his anger. And I'm going to address some things that uh, that I agree, that I would uh, that I love to hear from this man. The one thing I hear in his voice and another is that he is angry, visibly angry, or not rather visibly because you can't really see him, but you can hear his anger. You can hear the uh, where his life or his career has been destroyed because of this insanity. And I agree that every last one of these Democratic people that are going to far as far as these people are, I want to say even in the political, the political realm, are fascists. Now we have some Democrats here that would be that I do talk to or some that I would talk to that are not near, not as bad as um, as they seem to be. However, they have said or done things that I question that like, hmm, maybe that's not the correct way or maybe that's not the wisest thing to do or that's incredibly stupid. Uh, I, I think uh, that uh, um, I don't think that every single democrat is an office of fascist i don't see every single democrat is an evil person however i think a lot of the democrats if not the majority of the democrats are uh are very 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 far to the point as being a fascist and i think that's just the reality of things to where 
that's just to be that will just be the case. Um, I and that being said, I think that every person that has seen has been censored or or been removed from Twitter should one hundred percent sue the DNC because um, or any of the public outliers or what have you. Kyle Rittenhouse has a very strong case and stuff like that too because these guys have actively destroyed people's lives, their people's careers, and it needs to stop. This is no longer acceptable to where we need to allow this type of bullying, this type of corruption, this type of anti-American type stuff to happen. We as Americans have a right to stand up for what we believe in, and we have the right to say what we want. And we have democratic, authoritarian, fascist pieces of garbage actively trying to censor every single type of speech that we do or try to manipulate the actual uh manipulate the way they uh, how the how our government is run how our country is run how votes matter everything because they want just full control of the power they are pretty much the ccp at this point and they have been exposed to be like these type of people and i think every american should be angry i think every american should express their opinions and elon musk has given us the ability to do so to express our opinions, to express our ideas, to get everything out there to combat these complete socialist pieces of garbage. Now, I'm not saying that every single Democrat is... I'm not saying that Republicans are the safest bet. Or rather, not the safest bet, but rather, I'm not saying that Republicans are clean. Because I don't think every single Republican is clean. I think you guys heard me say this multiple times on this channel. But I think what it is, is that I don't think that Republicans are be seemingly as bad as the Democrats right now in terms of all this corruption, all this insanity. Now, I understand there are some people that, like, you know, say, serve cucks or whatever. Okay, I understand that. They're, they're, they're bad in terms of maybe when it comes down to, or, to a particular women or some of the things or whatever that has you. Yeah, sure. They're bad on that aspect. But that's a different conversation. This is, comes down to what is happening in today's society, what is going on in terms of how evil the Democrats are being to the American people. Here's the thing. And I, I want people that are also going after conservatives as well, because I'm not trying to defend conservatives or whatever. I don't try to align to any particular party. But what I'm trying to say is this and right here. I understand that they're, they're not the greatest. But as of right now... In order to fix things that we have to do, we have to align to at least to a certain idea or whatever, whoever seems to be the best best ally for the point. Your enemy is my friend, and you should be able to ally with people that seem to be directing to someone of a similar cause to you, and then direct the other issues. Because what's the point of going after a certain party, right? That one certain party that seems to believe at least some of what you believe, or if not majority of what you believe, but then you go after them and then try to take them down, but then you also have the other party that is ruining your life even more. That doesn't make any bloody sense to me. So, obviously, we have to uh, attack correctly in terms of, and what I mean attack, is that we have to put our votes in more, we have to uh, fight for what more what we believe in, as in fight, I mean as in be able to sue, uh, uh, and all the other stuff that does not protect to actual physical violence or political violence, but for them to see what is the true, um, the true enemy here, and, um, I agree that for the most part, maybe not don't trust every single Republican because that's a bad idea. Don't trust every single conservative because I think that's a bad idea. But I also agree in this in this mere aspect to where if we need to be able to combat these complete insanity people to actually be able to maybe fix the conservatives in some type of way or fix the other like other type of uh, the way the relations or how, how relations are being worked on or how the, that type of society is being destroyed or whatever, maybe we should probably go after the people that are actively censoring our speech and the ones that are currently not censoring our speech at the moment so that way we can maybe have more of our voices be heard and have be able to fix the, uh, fix the populace in a different way. Because as of right now, it's really, really stupid to go after one particular group when we agree on at least... 50 or maybe 60% of what they say, and maybe the 30 or 40% or whatever that percentage is, is not really, you know, is not maybe the greatest uh, idea or tactic. I think that's stupid. I think that leads you to destruction. Um, so I think we should probably 
try our very best to deal with these people um, and then combat the other issues. We have to, I think we can combat a lot of things, but we have to tackle some things at a certain time, at certain points. I understand that our relationship and our fraternity level is bad, but right now we, 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 we need to deal with other things that are threatening our way to actually talk about those issues. So, that being said, that's my really opinion on it. But I think every single American should go after these people that, that they've been wrong, that the DNC, that they have been wronged. Because at this point, we're Americans, and we have people showing us up. Let's show them what how America really is. Because I still have faith in America. I still think we we can do good. Let's show them the power that we have. All right, Americans, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, as always. Take care.